Now we're going to start more stepper motors. As she oh. This is Dave on the Crafted Channel. What do we have here? I'm working on my computer room, bat cave, little studio here where I can do projects indoors. I want to get an uninterruptible power supply to run the, uh, the computer and the printer on because if you get a little flicker in the power, all that stuff stops. So this is an APC Back UPS 500 series, 500 volt amps. It's uh, capable of 300 watts and it was given to me. I was told that it had a bad battery in it. I'm going to check it out. So let's plug it in. I see we get a green light. I have a test load here, electric drill. So that works pretty good. Now I'm going to unplug it and go on battery. Ooh, we get nothing. I think we do have a bad battery. Let's get it out of there. There's a door here. That's about the size of a modern, inexpensive gel cell. What do you want to bet there's a battery behind it? There it is. It looks like they gave us a tab to pull it out. Oops. So we have a red and a black wire. We will pull those off. And let's do a test on this battery. Put this meter on DC volts. Ah, 1.3 volts. That's not enough. Bad battery. We'll recycle it. Here's the replacement battery. Let's check its voltage. Aha, 12.8. There might be a difference. Let's see, we want to put a handle on this battery so we can get it out. Let me get some material for that. I have the ubiquitous Gorilla Tape. This stuff is phenomenal. And we're going to make a handle for this battery. Just a few pieces of tape here will do the job for us. I'm going to put, put it tape to tape here in the middle. Now you might wonder how I'm going to make a handle out of that. Get the dirt off of it if there's any. So check that out. I got a handle. Just a little bit of duct tape is all that was required. This unit is disconnected from the power, incidentally. So I'm putting black to black, which is minus, and red to red. And red is generally plus unless you're working on an RV. There we go. Should be able to push our handle down, grab our screws. Bam. All right, let's plug it in and see if the smoke gets out. Wow, we have a green light. Let's hit the trial test here. So that's what it would sound like if the power went out, I suppose. Plug in the drill. Pull the power. It doesn't work. Let's try a smaller load. All right, I found something. Here is a, a clock. Let's stop the infernal beeping. Blinking. So, wow, this does not stay on. I wonder if the clock is not a big enough of a load to keep it on. Curiouser and curiouser. Woohoo! Figured it out. On the back, there was a circuit breaker reset. After hitting that, the device functions properly. We are powered into AC now. We are still running. I notice this dims slightly. It has some settings here for lowering the voltage slightly. We're getting the occasional beep to let us know that we're running on battery power. Now we're back on. 
fresh AC. It's recharging what little bit we used out of the battery. Awesome. I think I have a good APC, the BK500M, which is a discontinued model, but it was given to me and it only cost me uh, about a $28 battery to get it running again. And I've got a backup on my computer. Now I still need to get another backup, probably bigger than this, for the 3D printer. Be interesting to try this on the 3D printer and see if it keeps running, but I got a sneaking suspicion it's more than 300 watts. Let's try it out. Here we are. My laptop is plugged into the printer and plugged into the APC back UPS 500 power supply or uninterruptible power supply. The printer is on, it's cold, and I'm going to hit I'm going to unplug the power the uh, UPS. Now I'm going to see if it'll start a print. Well, the heating element is on in the printer and heating up the bed. And I'm not sure how many watts that is. It's probably 50 watts, 100 watts, something of that nature. My laptop is also running on this. Okay, so I'm going to apply the power back in. So now we're back to running on uh, AC out of the wall again. And the printer didn't blink, the laptop's still running, so um, it's still moving towards printing this job. We'll come back while the job is printing, and I'll unplug the 110 volts and see if the APC back UPS 500 can continue to run the printer and switch quickly enough that the printer doesn't shut down. So here we go for another test. We are now heating both the extruder head and the bed. I'm going to pull the power to the, the AC power and we'll see if the UPS works. There we go. Continuing to run. We're getting a continuous beeping from the UPS, perhaps protesting that it's at its limit. I'm going to plug it back in. We can see in this scenario, if I lost the power for a few seconds, my printer would keep working. All right, the bed is raising up. Everything's up to full temperature. She's about to start printing. When it gets close to the top, I'm going to pull the power. We'll see if this continues to operate. Now we will have bed and extruder head cycling on and off, so we may get an unusual beep pattern from the APC 500. Continuous pattern probably indicates both are on at the same time. And the printer continues uninterrupted. That is phenomenal. Now we're going to start more stepper motors as she's... Oh, it couldn't run the whole printer and the laptop. Now technically I wouldn't need to have the laptop plugged into an uninterruptible power supply because it has its own battery. So let me try this print job again. Alright, here we go again. I'm going to unplug the APC unit. And we're continuing to print. What I changed here was I removed the laptop from the load. This is probably still very near the limit of the unit. Okay, so I'd say it lasted about 15 seconds. We'll look at the video. So at least I'll be able to survive a short power outage, and what I'm learning is that I need a larger backup device if I expect to run this 3D printer on it for any period of time. So there we are. We learned something today, didn't we? So the free UPS isn't going to cut it. I'm going to have to get a larger one. Maybe I can get a larger one for free. We'll see.
But meanwhile, at least I have a, a backup uh, power supply that'll get me through a short period of time or perhaps keep my desktop running, which is really what this is designed to do. It's really not designed to run devices with multiple heating elements. So I'm going to need a bigger one. Um, a, a 500 volt amp one is not really that big. Uh, that's about 300 watts continuous. I think I would probably be okay with a, uh, a one that was 500 watts continuous, but I'm going to look for something even larger. Perhaps uh, maybe in the 1000 or 2000 range. So this is Dave with the Crafted Channel showing you that you can fix old stuff and put it to use and I definitely will be putting this APC uh, back UPS 500 to use not on my 3D printer though at least it won't be large enough to be reliable there ideally I'd like something that would run it for 10 or 15 minutes get a project done um, as you can see I do uh, electronics I do bushcraft I do machining Lately I've been working on my little studio office here, trying to make a nice workspace inside for myself for doing uh, cleaner type projects. And we'll have more videos on that as this comes along. See you later.